While the meaning of a stitch in time may be debatable, in the apparel industry there's no misunderstanding of how different stitches and seams work in constructing garments. The apparel industry uses about 30 stitch patterns that are categorized in six classes, ISO 100 through 600. The decision on which stitch to use is based on the seam it will create, the location of that seam on the garment, and the kinds of fabric that the seam joins. Neither 100 nor 200 class stitches are used extensively in manufacturing. 100 class stitches are single needle chain stitches. 200 class are hand stitches. The 300 class includes ISO 301, the lock stitch. The 301 is the most common of all stitches for mass manufacturing of apparel. It produces one of the tightest seams and uses the least amount of thread. ISO 401 is the chain stitch. Most main seams on woven apparel are seamed with this stitch. The 401 is a close second to the 301 in use, although it consumes twice as much thread. The chain stitch is especially useful in apparel where thread endurance and strength are important. In the 500 class, stitches are often used to edge finish materials. ISO 503 is the most common, often used for blind hemming knits. 600 class stitches are the most complex. Their configurations are based on components of the 100, 400, and 500 classes. They're often used to attach knitted cuffs or elastic waistbands to other fabrics. As numerous as the different kinds of stitches are in apparel manufacturing, the number of seams used is even greater, almost 300. Seams are grouped in four categories, superimposed, lapped, bound, and flat. The superimposed seam, abbreviated SS, has more than 50 variations. Superimposed seams are usually formed with the edges of all plies parallel and even. The simplest of these, SSA, joins just two plies, generally with face sides together for body seaming. Lapped seams, or LS, have just over 100 variations. As the name suggests, lapped seams lap two or more plies over one another to construct critical seams in garments, including jeans, durable shirts, swim trunks, and knit infant apparel. LSA 1 joins two single plies by a single row of stitches. This junction remains flat and smooth when it is sewn with a 600 class stitch to cover the cut edges with thread. Bound seams, less than 20 in total, provide an inexpensive alternative to a hemmed edge. Dresses, skirts, and children's wear are often edge finished by binding. The BSB seam folds one cut edge under the binding usually placed on the face side, and leaves the other edge raw and unfolded, as in collarettes on t-shirts. Finally, flat seams, all six of them, have only limited application in apparel manufacturing. The flat seam is used to join abutted cut edges. The FS class seam depends on 600 class stitches, specifically ISO 605 or 606, to conceal the abutment. On woven garments, abutted seam edges can separate slightly when stressed by body movement. As a result, flat seams are likely to be used only on woven materials and as a decorative effect.